Hi, this is Lisa Mathena from the Lisa Mathena Group Real Estate Firm. And today we're here in Milton at Comfy Pets Grooming with Mary and Nicole. This is where I bring my, uh, my dog Carly. They're great groomers, very caring, and I thought who better to talk about the proper way to have your pet groomed than Mary and Nicole. So Mary, tell me a little bit about how you ended up being a groomer and in Milton. Okay, well, I used to be a professional dog handler and I would travel, go to dog shows, and that required a lot of time being on the road. And when I had Nicole, I couldn't travel as much, so I enjoyed working with the pets so much, I decided to go into the grooming business. And um, I started my first business in my home, which was very convenient because I had Nicole there uh, with me all the time, and it just grew from there. Uh, started in a home business and at one point we had three salons and wow. I come to Milton because uh, Milton was such a lovely town when I came here I fell in love with it and I just wanted to have a shop here also. Well I agree with you Milton is a great place to live because I live in Milton so, but um, you also have another shop right? Yes and that's on John J. Williams Highway uh, it's midway between Long Neck and the Angola area if you're uh, familiar with that. So it's in Millsboro? Right? Yes. Okay. Nicole, tell us a little bit about what you do here and what sets you apart from other groomers. Okay, so what sets us apart is um, not only are we in it to groom the pets, but we're also in it to make them comfortable um, and give them a really good experience. So um, we use quality equipment, quality shampoos. We don't crowd our animals in here and have a bunch at one time. Um, we really enjoy what we do and the dogs can feel that while we're working on them. We specialize in no anesthesia, dental cleaning, which is really beneficial to their health. Yes. Um, and we just really do whatever we can to make the animals all around better and healthier. Well, I can tell you, uh, the dog that I bring in is a Border Collie, and she's a little high strung. <laughs> but uh, when, when, she, when I come to pick her up, she is happy as a clam, however happy a clam could be. But, uh, so what type of animals do you work on? So mainly we do work on dogs and cats. We've had a couple um, very randoms like a sugar glider and a rabbit, but, um, <laughs> but those are our two main um, that we take care of for the most part. So you actually groom cats? We do, surprisingly. Um, so what we do with cats is we could brush them out if they get matted, if they're older and don't take care of themselves as well. Um, we also shave them down if, you know, if that's what the owner requests. It also keeps down on shedding as well. Um, but we like to do the line cut where we'll, you know, shave their body down, leave their tail fluffy, and it's actually really, really cute. So do you do, um, how do you find handling the cats? Is it difficult when you're working with them? I mean, I, do you bathe them too? Or? They're really uh, well behaved, surprisingly. Sometimes it might take us two of one holding pet and rubbing the nose oh, and the other nice. one working on it. But the cats are really wonderful. You just have to know how to, they're different than dogs. You just have to know, be gentle and quiet spirit with them. Mm -hmm. They really respond well. So speaking of that, have you ever had uh, an animal in here that is nasty or is difficult to handle? And if so, how have, you, how have you handled that? It's different. Some you just have to be gentle and very patient with, and other ones sometimes you just have to be a little firm with your voice. Um, they're really wonderful to, to work with. Uh, they're a lot better than you think they are. Mm -hmm. A lot of times they pick up on the owner's nervousness and right. once the owner leaves, they're completely fine. It's just that love and that patience and gentle voice sometimes, gentle touch. And sometimes we'll let them watch us work on another pet and they'll say, Interesting. oh, that, that pet's okay, mm -hmm. it's not getting hurt. Mm -hmm. It, and it's just a building a trust with the pet over time. Sort of like people who have misbehaving children and when they go somewhere else, they're well behaved. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so tell us a little bit more about the non-anesthesia dental and how that works. Okay. So um, as my mother said earlier, she used to show dogs. So when you show dogs, they are not okay with you administering any kind of medication to them. Um, so that's why it was important to learn how to do that without putting them down. Um, so that's where she learned how to do it so many years ago and still continues to do it. Um, and what we'll do is we'll get in the dog's mouth and go over how much plaque they have, scrape it with all of our dental tools. Um, and even if we get one or two teeth, we won't charge you. Um, and then we'll just keep that process going until we have it completed to make sure that their mouth is healthy. And what happens if you someone asks you to do a dental and the, the animal either doesn't need it or you can't 
do it because of, of whatever reason? Um, to be honest, we turned, I think, two dogs away this year out of maybe 300 that we did wow. in our scalings mm -hmm. because they wouldn't stay still. The dogs are awesome. They're wonderful. Once we get that first piece of plaque off their teeth, it releases the pressure on their gums oh. and it feels good for them. Um, so, you know, if we can't do it, like I say, we won't charge you. But um, our success rate, and I'm the only one that does the I've never heard of it before. Honestly. Yeah, it's very, uh, I'm the only one that's ever done it. So it's just a very popular service. And I assume if you see something that uh, needs medical attention, you would tell the owner. Exactly. If if there's an abscess or something, we won't. I won't get in there and fool with the dog's mouth. Uh, a lot of times we see things on dogs, not with just the teeth right. in their bodies. And we've told the people, and we've had people call us up. Thank you. Uh, oh, I went nice. to the vet, and, and if it wasn't for you, they wouldn't have known this and that. So. It's all about, well, the whole, we care about the whole pet, just not the grooming of the pet, but the health and of the pet also. So uh, Mary and Nicole have agreed to offer a coupon for everyone who visits the Park Bench site or Lisa Goes Local. Tell us what you're willing to offer. Well, we're willing for every grooming to do a free dental checkup and assessment of the, uh, the dog's teeth. We don't do teeth on cats. And, uh, <laughs> you know, at that point, it's up to the client if they want us to. We could definitely do teeth cleaning. And some dogs, we tell people, come back in six months. And we, you know, because sometimes it's a once a year thing, sometimes every six months. So, and sometimes they don't need their teeth scaled. They just need a good brushing. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. So tell people how they can reach you and find you, both your address and email and Facebook, if you're on Facebook. Okay, so we're located here at 104 Federal Street in Milton, Delaware. Um, you can reach us at 302-945-4645. Also, if you're interested in that free dental exam, you can go on Lisa Goes Local. Um, you can find it there as well. And then um, you can always find us on Facebook, a comfy pet grooming salon. And what is the address of your Millsboro property? It's 22935 John J. Williams Highway, Millsboro. And uh, we have one phone number for both locations. Uh, so, and we have a website also, and I just ask that people uh, don't email me through the website. The best way to get a hold of us is to call because we return our calls every day. Yes, they do. I can attest to that. Well, Nicole, Mary, thank you so much for taking the time today. This is Lisa Bafina from the Lisa Bafina Group Real Estate Firm. Have a great day. Thank you.